What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got our first official look at the Massive Season 3 update. They dropped the new Rebirth Island trailer a couple hours ago. Not only did this brand new trailer showcase Rebirth Island, but it also gave us an early look at the upcoming Battle Pass operators, the theme of Season 3, and other skins and cosmetics to pretty much expect from this. So we're going to not only cover that, there was also this new feature that they showcased in the trailer where there was destructible POIs with buildings falling, and that's something that a lot of people are not very happy with because it looks like the prison was completely destroyed. I'll be explaining the new features with that and how that's going to work out because they actually already did explain it for us. But if you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But let's go ahead and let's jump into it. And when you watch this brand new trailer, up until the first minute, it looks completely normal. So right now, as you're seeing it, it looks like Rebirth Island is kept the same exact way as we've seen it in the past. No major changes, nothing going on too crazy that will pretty much ruin it in any sort of way. But then at around the one minute mark is when you start seeing things that are a little bit odd. So in the beginning, you see that the jail is completely intact the building is covered everything's all good and then right around this part you start seeing them driving over on the roof of it but there's not even a roof to really drive over and then they fall right in and when you take a look the crater is a massive compared to the original one that we ended up seeing and I got two different photos one from the OG rebirth island and then one in the brand new trailer and you can see the size comparison how massive this brand new crater is and then on top of that shortly after in the trailer they also showcase them driving inside of the prison and there's just a bunch of of rubble it doesn't look like the same POI anymore and then at around 1 minute and 15 seconds you end up seeing a building completely collapse and fall due to an airstrike explosion and with the damage to the map that you are seeing it looks like they are introducing a destructible POI feature and that's something that I saw a lot of comments especially over on Twitter people were not very happy about this they said why not keep Rebirth Island the same way that it originally was what is the point of adding all these weird new features and new items and things like that that could potentially end up ruining the map before it even launches raven software saw all of this feedback and they decided to actually address it they said we see your questions about the rebirth day trailer at the launch of season three we're reintroducing rebirth island to warzone while a number of gameplay updates and visual polish have been made this version of rebirth island stays true to the original experience our players know and love and later into the season so around reloaded players will have a rare chance to encounter infill strikes these are a set of dynamic events that will alter one of three possible pois at random at the very start of a match. While the majority of matches will remain unaffected, these strikes provide a rare yet unique spin to rotation and traversal opportunities. For more information on infill strikes, keep an eye out for the announcement blog and patch notes coming next week. The good news is something like this could end up being removable at any point. So when they do introduce it in the mid-season updated, players are not fans of it. They will collect the feedback and probably end up removing this feature. But let's talk about something else that's interesting. And that is the brand new operator skins that were shown in this trailer. The very first thing is the thumbnail of this brand new trailer showcases three brand new operators. And all three of them are a part of the Kony group. You have Makarov and two new characters that we don't know about. I believe maybe one of them Summer, the other one could be Fall with the code names that we have in the files and this does make sense because apparently Makarov has two different operator skins that are coming in the season three update one could be available in the battle pass while the other will be the black cell version of him from the way it looks he's either going to be available in the instant unlock sector or in the tier 100 he can't be available in both or else they would need to add four different operator skins for him two for the battle pass and two for the black cell version maybe there's going to be another main character that'll take tier 100 very similar to what we see in season two you have rick grimes kate lazo in the instant sector but then you have ghost in the tier 100 that could be something that they could do here and maybe one of the crossovers we talked about previously could end up being one of the operators in the tier 100 but anyways let's talk about the actual operator showcase in the trailer at the very beginning of it three new operators were shown the first one is a red and white milsim looking operator she also has tattoos Definitely looks like something that would be available in the battle pass along with the other two. I believe the one on the left is a new version that looks very similar to Riptide, but it looks to be like it's for a different operator. So another reason why that might end up being available in the battle pass. And then another operator over on the right side looks like a Milsim, very simple design. Once again, usually simple designs like these are not brought into the store probably going to be available in the battle pass so these are the first three that they showcase in the very beginning of the trailer and then you go on they end up showcasing three other operator skins right after that and i think these guys are going to be available in the store just because of how wonky and crazy looking they look like for example there's a guy with a brain in the jar if you take a look here at the left side that's not something that comes into 
the battle pass that's definitely going to be one of those like ultra skin bundles that they usually will add in and then you have another operator skin with orange armor he looks to be like he's also going to be available in the store and then the last one that we have is also showcase it looks like maybe he has an animated spine or something like that they don't really showcase the front of him all too much you only see the back of his head but it definitely looks like it's going to be one of those skins that glows or has some sort of animation effect to it and then going back to that green armored operator we have another two photos one is where he was going down some stairs into a bunker and then another one where he was swimming underwater showcasing that there's going to be underwater features on rebirth island as well as just showcasing the operator skin in a little bit more clear light and then following that this is the battle pass operator that's going to be added because it has the coney logo it doesn't look like it's going to be a part of the store it just wouldn't make sense this is definitely going to be one of the operator skins you'll be able to get in the battle pass she looks to be a main character as i talked about before we have all these code names like romeo summer fall she's definitely going to have one of those code names and that's going to be one of the new operators and then they showcase her for like a couple seconds the next one that we have definitely looks like it could be a part of the battle pass because it's a full-on robot skin maybe it has to do with atlas corporation i'm not entirely sure you can't see exactly what that logo is at that's like on his back that appears right there but this is definitely a robot operator and this is what it looks like and then the next one that we have is like a glow in the dark type of skin uh, that we have i thought maybe it could be tier 100 and then i got a better look and i'm like yeah there's no way they make this tier 100 this is definitely probably one of like the store bundles that they're gonna put in and yeah this is just like the only split second that we get to see of that and then there's another operator skin behind him with a gas mask and that is yet again another form of a milsim operator who i think could be in the battle pass as well and then you go on to the next photo there's this guy right here being showcased in an orange jumpsuit we've seen skins like this in the battle pass and we've also seen some like this in the store so i can't really give you a guess on where he will be available from and we only got two different angles of him and they're both not really all that clear but you could see that he's just it looks like the chemist operator skin but he's just completely orange and then the next operator skin shown is this scary bunny this is definitely going to be available in the store almost every single season they introduce an animal bundle we have the pigeon one for this season before that we ended up having the duck now it looks like we're getting the scary bunny before that we had a regular bunny we've had cats we've had monkeys it's just it, it completely random at what we get but this is what it looks like we're getting for this season and then there's also makarov here being showcased i believe this these all three of these skins right here that you see are all part of the battle pass in regards to coney the left side you have this guy he looks like he's a part of coney group being helped up the one on the right is the operator skin that we talked about showcase earlier and then you have makarov which looks to be a completely brand new skin for him and he's pretty much looking like the main character that they're showcasing here in the trailer and they also showcase him once again he's standing in the middle and then you have the mill sims on the right and the left side a part of the coney group and then they also have this little cutscene where there's a building blowing up and then he's blowing smoke out of his gun so once again i could think that maybe he's going to be a part of the instant sector or tier 100 but i don't think he'll be a part of both these are all the operator skins that they showcase from this trailer that i picked up if there's any that i missed or i didn't see comment it down below and let me know but what are your thoughts and opinions based on what you've seen so far the gameplay for rebirth island the brand new operators that were revealed what are your thoughts and opinions but we get the official roadmap tomorrow i'll have an updated version of this video going up to showcase the operators the brand new packs that they showcase because they usually drop some packs and show some tracer artwork and then they also got the different marketing photos the entire roadmap photo who the main character of the battle pass is the upcoming operators of with the crossovers those are usually available in the roadmap as well and we'll have all those details in that video and i'll cover all that for you guys so if you are not sub definitely hit that sub button so you don't miss out on any of that big news but it's been your boy Chido. thank you guys for tuning in and I really do appreciate the support lately, but hopefully I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace.